Today marks a landmark moment for Sheffield. This project puts Sheffield through AIMI at the forefront of innovation and smart city technology adoption. And today we're launching our smart cities platform. It's the OS city platform supported by Cisco and installed with sensors across the city by Connexin. I'm working in partnership here with AIMI and Sheffield City Council. The aim of the project is to install over 2,000 that have been sensors across the city to ensure that we can deliver our services across street cleansing services efficiently. In addition, we're going to be looking at moisture sensors to ensure we optimise the watering of our trees in the summer months. Grit bin sensors to ensure that we deliver grit to those bins as when required and before the public notify us of it. In addition, looking at the flooding and the recent weather we've had, we're installing sensors in our gullies and potential river level monitoring as well to ensure that we minimise flooding on our network. So how is it being done? Well at Connexin, we're working with Amy to install a city-wide LoRaWAN network and deploying sensors to the assets that Amy are in control of on behalf of the city. And Amy will be then taking data feeds from those sensors and we'll be taking that data into our CityOS platform, which then Amy operatives will be then using that data to actually make intelligent-based decisions. And over time, through machine learning and algorithms, CityOS will be able to help predict what's going to happen before it actually happens, allowing extreme events to be better managed and planned for. Imagine a world where we can take Met Office data in line with acid condition and start to predict flooding before it actually happens. This programme is, is just another reflection of where City of Sheffield is going. We are open for business, we are open to innovation, we want people to come here and realise they can do trade here, they can do work here. What we have got here is an amazing tool that we can use to make our city more efficient. We will be better placed to adjust what's going on. For us, we hope to make the way that Amy delivers services far more leaner, streamlined and more efficient. In doing so, making it a more sustainable service both for Amy and for the city. With the carbon challenge that everybody's committed to and with the increasing focus on climate change, delivering services in a more sustained manner is paramount to everybody. The technology being deployed is going to change the way that people live and visit the city of Sheffield. Everything from people on their commute to work, having cleaner and safer roads, all the way through to traffic congestion and air pollution. It will make Sheffield a cleaner, greener place to live, work and visit. In Sheffield, we're on that contract till 2037, and what is a phenomenal opportunity to pilot, test, hone, refine, and make it mainstream. So Sheffield's plan for our connectivity across the city, the digital approach, is very much aligned to where I certainly want to take uh, the transport business with an Amy. Cities like Sheffield, identify a couple different use cases. In this case, it's bins and water and some traffic, but then they're able to layer on top of that multiple use cases and really decide what the citizens need and deploy technology solutions that impact the citizens' lives. The city needs to work better. In terms of climate change, it's not a case about just doing business as is. We need to do business better. That means reducing the number of journeys we do, about thinking about how we do our services better to deliver for our citizens. There's so many elements to this that we've been crying out for for such a long time to allow us to deliver the city that our citizens want and deserve because because it's the greatest city and we need to have the best technology available and, and the more we can deliver for our citizens the better. Smart cities are the cities that actually think about the impact. Um, tech's great and it's not just tech for tech's sake though, it's what, what do we do with that technology, what do we do with the data and actually this is about making smarter decisions for the city. This platform will give us enormous amounts of data that we can then use, um, put it together with other data to make better informed policy decisions to improve the lives of people in Sheffield. We were at the forefront of the first industrial revolution and we think we want to be at the forefront of the next industrial revolution and, and this, is a, this is a way to demonstrate that.